I've been a victim of demonic attacks. I know that Satan attacks men. And let me tell you, the realm of the spirit does not care whether you are a preacher, does not care whether you are an apostle, you are a prophet. Once that light and that grace has not been there to bail you, you will be a victim. But hallelujah, you came for this miracle service. Because in the, new, the next few minutes, we are going to lift a banner as we pray and cry to God to visit you. I have listed seven reasons. For some of us here, as you came here, your report is zero over seven. You've not excelled in any one of these areas. I do not condemn you. You can start afresh. I will recap it again and then we'll pray. And then I'm going to minister deliverance to the oppressed. Hallelujah. I'm going to be speaking open doors to those who are bound. I'm going to be praying for the sick. The next few minutes will demand very keen spiritual sensitivity. You're going to insist on God tonight until you walk away victorious. But tonight God is giving you an opportunity because the Spirit is about to be poured upon us from on high so that the wilderness be counted for a fruitful field. Isaiah 32, 15 and a fruitful field be counted for a forest. Hallelujah. You believe this? And I'm saying this to you so that you don't allow any doubt in your heart. What is your assignment tonight as we prepare to pray? Find out what is missing or wanting based on this list. I will run it again and that will be your prayer. That will be your cry for tonight. Number one, for someone it is lack of goals and defined expectations. For another person, it is that you have wrong limiting beliefs. This is what you came to correct. For another person, it's lack of value and resourcefulness, quite honestly. For another person, it's lack of wisdom. You are panting for divine direction, panting for divine strategies. For someone, it is lack of favor with men. Your life has been marred by misfortune and bad luck. You've not had it funny. You've not had it favorable with men. For someone, it is lack of health. Many, I believe. Lack of health and physical fitness. You have the intellectual power, but the health that backs your mind to help you achieve much is not there. And finally, for many, I believe, who are here tonight, and the many who are following online, you have come trusting God to bring an end to spiritual issues, satanic molestations that have tied you, tied your family, tied your destiny. God has given you hints in types and shadows, in dreams and prophecies. You've seen it through the word. But whilst you are growing, you may not have the capacity to help yourself for now. And so he's brought you that by mercy, we can offer that assistance. My job is to work in partnership with the Holy Spirit to offer you maximum assistance as far as your liberty and your victory is concerned. Yours is to believe in Jesus, believe in his vessel, and believe in what God is able to do. Can we pray a few prayers? Please rise up on your feet. Go ahead and begin to pray. Father, my destiny must make progress from this meeting, from this meeting, from tonight, from this encounter. Go ahead and pray. Mention the areas that must change. Come on. Someone is praying. Father, I grace to have a vision for my life, to have goals for my days. Oh yes, you are praying. You are praying. I obtain grace to correct limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs. I obtain grace to invest in value. Invest in value. To be resourceful. Spiritually resourceful. Intellectually resourceful. Someone cry for wisdom. Cry for divine direction. Cry for wisdom. Cry for divine direction. Cry for divine strategies. For another, pray for favor. Favor for a sick person who came 
here downcast ill in your body i like you to pray that i must receive my miracles tonight the program of god depends on my participation my destiny depends on my vitality no room for sickness no room for diseases finally i like you to pray every demonic blockade every hindrance to my moving forward to my going forward to my making progress to my advancement to my prosperity to my increase i come against you go ahead and pray in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray Matthew chapter 4 please from verse 25 to 27 Matthew 4 25 and there followed him a great multitude of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond Jordan next verse and seeing the multitude the Bible says he went up into a mountain and when he was set his disciples came to him no 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 no. we're reading something else help us you've made a mistake Matthew chapter 4 25 is it 25 to 27 did I get that right give us Jeremiah 30 and verse 17 Jeremiah 30 and verse 17 want to pray for the sick now and to pray deliverance one to go for I will restore health unto you and I will heal thee of thy wounds saith the Lord because they called thee an outcast saying this is Zion whom no man seeketh after. Jeremiah 33 and verse 6, please. Jeremiah 33 and verse 6. One to go, please. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them abundance of peace and truth. Establish, preserve the testimony in my business. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God, let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Someone pray, visit my family, establish and preserve my testimony. You have given me honor, establish and preserve it. You have given me victory, establish and preserve it. You've given me influence, establish and preserve it. You've given me a new, a good name, Establish and preserve it. Someone is praying, God answers prayer. You have given me a good husband. Establish and preserve him. You have given me a good wife. Establish and preserve her. You have given me children. Establish and preserve them. Go ahead. That after you have suffered for a while, that the Lord will bless you, will establish, he will preserve, he will settle you. You have brought me into the wealthy place. Establish and preserve my finances. You've appointed honor to my family. Establish and preserve it. In Jesus' name I pray. We are still praying. We are going to pray the prayer of Jabez. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast open your mouth and pray lord enlarge my coast enlarge my coast enlarge my influence give me greater testimonies it is not carnal to ask god for more establish my business broaden my the, my hands as far as my reach towards finances is concerned you work in an organization it is okay to pray that god promotes you when he promotes you he promotes his name through you he promotes his name. He promotes his agenda through you. Preserve your name. Establish me. Settle me. 
Rapata parato shoto pregate belegates. Whilst you're submitting your request, make sure you pray. This is part of the service. Pray. Pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. Someone is going to cry. Lord, give me peace. Give me peace. Give my family peace. No more tears. No more shame. No more bad news meeting bad news. No more heartbreak meeting heartbreak. Go ahead and pray. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. Peace in my business. Peace in my career. Peace in my pursuit. Peace in ministry. God made an end to war and fighting during the days of Solomon. He gave him rest in the days of Joshua. God gave them rest eventually round about. Someone pray, give me peace. 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 Peace in marriage. Peace over my health. Peace over the issues that trouble me. Peace over my finances. Now the God of peace himself give you peace always and by all means 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 in Jesus name we pray the last prayer point before we pray over the request Ushers, if you're yet to come, please make it fast. Let's, let's make it hasty. Um, if, if it doesn't have to be in the basket, even if it's by hand, just, just make it available and let's pray. We do this not as a ritual, but it's just a way to guide your faith so that you receive. Hallelujah. To guide your faith so that you receive. To guide your faith so that you receive. To guide your faith so that you receive. I'm sure we still have people outside. We'll give you a minute or two to just rush with your requests and bring it very quickly. Hallelujah. Final prayer. Father, turn around every negative situation in my life and my family. Turn it around. I came here with shame. Turn it around. I came here with legal cases. Turn it around. I came here with reproach. Someone pray. Open your mouth and pray. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And our mouths were filled with laughter. Go ahead. Father, turn every negative report, negative financial report, turn it around by your spirit. Turn again the captivity. I am your Zion. Turn again every captivity. Ministry captivity, financial captivity, marital captivity, career captivity, captivity in the area of establishment. Pray with faith, pray with fire, pray with expectation. Academic captivity, turn it around, oh God. Family captivity, turn it around, oh God. Give me a testimony. Let me rejoice. Let me rejoice. Come on, pray the prayer of Jonah. Jonah prayed when he was in the belly of the fish. Pray the prayer of Jonah that I will rejoice again in your salvation. Pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to speak over your life. 
but I want to pray over this request we'll do it quickly and in one minute by faith go ahead you need to bring it just bring it quickly why do we pray over this request number one because it is the most accurate representation of your desires the Bible says and whatsoever things ye desire when ye pray that you believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them this right here is a representation of your pain this has made some of you cry this has made some of you sick this has made some of you weary this has made some of you discouraged some of you on account of the things you have written here you came here discouraged saying Lord I'm opening let me just see if you can do something about my life yes not just something everything God is able to step in and give you a testimony I'm going to bow my knees in one minute whilst you're praying connecting with me and I will speak over this request as a point of contact I'm going to ask the Lord to visit you and then I'll rise and speak over your life in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead and pray father visit me let every request here written be turned to a testimony every request here written the Bible says they looked on to him and their faces were lightened they looked on to him and their faces were lightened they looked on to him is someone praying is a believer praying God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent when God speaks it is within his power to bring his word to pass this is a time for your personal petitions go ahead lift your voice and cry father hands have been laid on my request in the name of Jesus Christ raise the men who become answers to this request break the chains that make for answers to this request give me the ideas that make for answers to this request raise the helpers that will be used by you to answer this request Lord visit your people give them encounters give them testimonies make a name for yourself that they come out of financial captivities let marital spells be broken let academic lives rise blossom thrive again let ministries blossom let homes receive your salvation in the name of Jesus Christ open up career doors by your spirit one more minute you are praying in Jesus name we pray father I decree and declare as your servant upon this request we do this not as a ritual we do this full of faith believing that you are the God that answers all prayer I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, every request that has been penned down here, let it return to your people as testimonies. Let it return to your people as testimonies. Testimonies of helpers. Testimonies of new jobs. Testimonies of promotions. Miracle marriages. Miracle children. Liftings in the name of Jesus. Miracles of establishment miracles of deliverances miracles of healing miracles of advancement miracles of restoration miracles of overturning situations i prophesy to you you will laugh laughter to you laughter to you and all who hear this will laugh with you in the name of jesus christ lift your hands to receive by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare the Lord brought you here for good he brought you here for laughter he brought you here for joy he brought you here for rising for victory for testimonies therefore I decree and declare every human agent anointed by God to step into your life step into your business this week and cause you to experience victory I declare that my God commands them to come on time my God commands them to come on time some of them will meet them tomorrow they will be waiting for you they will bless you you will know they were sent by God to help you 
in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here who has sincerely taken a wrong direction towards your life either by influences of friends and associations demonic manipulations we command a you turn back to the path of destiny we command a you turn back to the path of destiny we command a you turn back to the path of destiny in the name of Jesus and to deliver them who are appointed unto death I pray for you if your name has been written in the list of those who must die between now and next month I pray for you by the blood of the eternal covenant we clean your name from that list we erase your name from that list I speak to you you shall not die believe it and receive it that you shall not die your children will not die your spouse will not die your parents will not die they will live to a good old age in the name of Jesus Christ everyone here trusting God for career breakthrough the battles have been around your career no job or no good job or no increase no advancement I pray for you as we step into October in the name of Jesus let it be your month of miracles your month of miracles miracle jobs those you don't know will call you they will connect you to help us in the name of Jesus I pray for anyone here who is in any kind of trouble legal trouble you are in debt you are owing you are in any kind of financial trouble by the voice of prophecy I pray for you in the name of Jesus as we step into this month October between now and the next and the end of October may my God do a quick miracle receive it the grace is coming on you a quick miracle in the name of Jesus for someone even though your helpers are not in Nigeria you don't need to go out to meet them God will connect you supernaturally God will connect you supernaturally I'm hearing this for someone God will connect you supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ negative dreams negative experiences as you sleep you are even afraid of going to bed I decree and declare every antichrist anti-kingdom anti-advancement encounter I surveyed from your life from tonight I surveyed from your life from tonight while I was teaching I took time to teach extensively on value I'm praying for you now the anointing that makes your head shine so that your helpers and your lifters will see you I decree and declare may that grace rest on your head now you may not see it but your helpers will see it it will cause your face to shine in the name of Jesus for some of us we entered this year fighting we are still fighting till now every month looks like a month of battles let me prophesy over you if you have the faith to receive it as you are entering October here is my prophecy for you rest round about rest round about rest round about let battles come to an end let victory be established hear it and receive it again rest round about rest round about in the name of Jesus three more prayer points let me declare restoration you lost relationships you lost opportunities either because of lack of discernment or because of some demonic thing you lost money you lost whatever it is I pray for you in this season how God will do it you don't need to know but I prophesy to you because you have been taken for a prey I come as a priest and I say restore 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 in the name of Jesus
the Bible says a good name is to be desired than riches some of you have many other things except a good name the devil has damaged your name and damaged your reputation hear me listen to my message redefining inheritance among the many things that a good man leaves for his children is an inheritance and the first of the inheritance is your convictions the second inheritance you leave for your children are your relationships the third inheritance you leave for your children is a good name if you are great and your name is not great only you will be successful he told abraham i will bless you and i will make your name great when your name is great it becomes a key anyone who holds the key can open doors it is a terrible thing to be great without your name being great and it is not good enough for your name to be great while you are not great when god wants to really make you great he makes both you and your name great if joshua selman is great and koinonia is not great i failed if koinonia is great and joshua selman is not great i failed when god wants to help men he makes both you your name and you great so that others can write through your name as a leverage and attain greatness i'm praying for someone here every battle over your greatness and every battle over your name some of you you are great alone but people have to literally run away from a name you carry because that name is like a padlock it will close doors for them but i pray for you tonight by mercy both you and your name in this coming month you will taste of greatness you will taste of greatness you will taste of greatness i declare enjoy greatness by the spirit it says that will increase my greatness and comfort me on every side may my god increase your greatness and may you have a great name in the name of jesus christ